Hey guys, so today I did something fun and uh, it's fun for me. Uh, I've got no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> but I just spent about $290 on a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards. And don't ask me why, I seriously, I have no idea. I, um, I used to do trading cards when I was younger. I used to um, have a bunch of trading cards from Pokemon to Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh! and a few others. And I've always loved trading cards. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like a nostalgic thing, I guess, for me. But um, yeah, I, I walked into the shop today and I mean, $290, it, that's a lot of money. <laughs> so um, I don't know what possessed me today to do it, but I did it anyway. So I'm gonna do the unpacking with you today. Now, full disclosure, I know nothing about Magic the Gathering, only that it has magic in the title, it's got a bunch of um, character uh, things, it's, it's a popular game, I know in a lot of circles. This is me being an absolute noob, I have no idea about it, but I'm willing to learn and see what's going on. So. I'm gonna do the unpacking with you today. All right, so what we're gonna do is, um, now I've, I've set these up, and sorry if I came a little too close to the camera there. Um, I've set these up into a bunch of different, um, uh, what do you say, categories, because I know that uh, there's different series of pack, packs in this game. And so I've set them up into their different series, if you will, and I'll be unpacking them like so. And again, so you guys are gonna probably know those of you who are fans of the series, uh, of the, ga the game, are going to know more about what I unpack today than I do, but I'm going to have a look into them and see if there's any rare ones and so on, and what comes up. Alright, so, let me flip the camera around, and we'll take it from here. Now, I picked up these guys, and again, I have no idea about this game, but these decks were $42 each. I don't know why. <laughs> So, why somebody would spend $42 on a bunch of 15 cards, there must be some sort of high rare ones in here, who knows, but we'll figure that one out in a second. And I got this uh, Challenger deck. So we're going to start with this Challenger deck, let's see what's in here. Again, you guys watching probably have more idea about this than I will, and I'll do a little bit of research, probably follow this video. Let, let's see what pops up out of this. Alright, so first we have this little guy. Cool. All right. So we got a little uh, wizard here. Uh, sorry, not a wizard. Oh wow. Can you tell I'm a new? I was like a tree goblin or something. So at the time of recording this video, I thought I'd save you the absolute um, nightmare of my audio because I had no idea what was going on. So this uh, deck that you see me unpacking here, um, there was a few decent cards that we pulled out of it. Pretty common cards, nothing too fancy, uh, but these are all the side deck. And so there's a lot of token cards and you would actually use this deck and play with it. But unfortunately, I didn't know this at the time. So I've ripped this deck apart and I've put it into my collection. I might put it back together and uh, have a bit of a play with it with a few of my friends now that I know a little more about the game. I don't normally play with uh, the Swamp cards or the uh, Water cards. It's not my most favorite deck to play with or favorite cards to play with, I will say. But all in all, we purchased this pack and we did get some decent uh, rare cards out of it. So I might recreate it. I might even replace a few of the cards and just mix and mash, put something of um, my own style together and then see how I go. But anyway, that's it for, uh, for this sort of deck. It's nothing too, too fancy. As you can see, the Swamp cards coming through. Uh, these are all just land and mana cards that you would use to play the game. As you can see, I've put a few of the values of the cards in here. We're doing the values above $1 just to save some time. There's no point calculating the rest. I'll do an approximation at the end of each pull just so you know roughly where we're at, how much we spent, and roughly how much value we actually got out of the pull. So with about 85 cards in the deck and 10 being of a high rare value, the total value of this entire deck is roughly about $50, with 75 of those cards about 25 cents a piece. All right, so let's find out what's in boost pack number one. We have a soldier, that's pretty cool. Dismal backwater again, ooh, check it out, we have a little holographic one, Ogre Warrior, that's pretty cool. All right, I'll put that on side. Greater Heart of Keld, Falcon Adept, these are looking nicer. Which is Cauldron, Caged Zombie, Prismite. That's cool. Silent Dart, Rookie Mistake, Staunch Shieldman, Omni Ogre, Pride Malkin, Barsi Acolyte. All right, cool. There's a little scuff on that one. Oh, that's not nice. I like that one. That's nice. All right, so I'm going to put all of the shiny ones together just so we can uh, keep them separate. And as I said, you're probably going to know more about these than I will. I'll keep that in the camera for you all. And let's go pack number two. 
Just open this carefully. I'm just going to ignore that phone because I'm busy taking out trading cards. Go away. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? A uh, token creature. Sapling. Dismal backwater again. Maze mind tome. That looks pretty cool. Invigorating surge. Silver moat ghoul. Lovely. Get all the artwork on these. And we've got a forgotten sentinel. Wow, everybody's calling me today, aren't they? Gloom star. Track down. Igneous cur. Wall of runes. Pretty cool. <laughs> Rambunctious mutt. I like this card. Oh, right, guys, I like this card. <laughs> Gnarled sage. Chandra's magmut. Sabertooth mauler. And it looks like we've got another one of these, but uh, it's not, um, so this one's holographic, this one's not. All right, cool. So we got a Tauric Ogre in holograph in a sort of a foil type. <laughs> okay, so let's just put these guys nice and carefully down here. All right, let's go with number three booster. Cool. All right, we've got another soldier. we got Island. We've got another holographic one. Uh, sorry, foil type here. Baris, Barsi, Lieutenant. Bar, Baris, Lieutenant. No, but I can't speak. <laughs> ba Basri, Lute Basri Lieutenant. Wow, okay, you guys are going to hate me in the comments <laughs> by my random wording. All right, okay, this one's a... Uh, just pick this one up again. Um, so I don't know if you see that in the camera here, but um, it's got a little foil marker on the bottom here. Don't know what that means. Uh, maybe you can tell me in the comment section. It's not a foil card, but it's got a little foil marker. So... Oh. God, that was cringeworthy. So that marker obviously is a rare indicator. Um, it's an indicator to tell you that the card is a rare card or a mythic card. Um, some of the more uncommon cards actually have higher value than some of the rare cards. And um, that's actually interesting to note. Don't know what happened there, but it is what it is. Spell go weird. All right. So let's pop that back over here. And let's keep going. What are we up to? This is number four. Okay, what do we got? Arena, free to play. Okay, cool, that's a something. <laughs> All right, so we've got a mountain. I'm just gonna pop these in here. Nine lives, and this, has got, this is another one with a little foil thing on the bottom, so I'm gonna pop that there. Reign of Revelation. Sanctum of Stone Fangs, that looks kinda cool. Laura Scale. Mind Rot, oh, that's lovely. Thrill of Possibility. Sanguine Indulgence. I used to play um, uh, Elder Scrolls, so Sanguine was uh, the uh, Daedric Prince. Sure Strike, okay, we've got another wall rune. Skeleton Archer. Snare, snare, snare Spinner. I do not like spiders. It's not going to be my most favorite card. Shock and Teferi's Protégé. Human Wizard. All right, cool. See so in the comment section, let me know what those uh, foil markers are, if there's anything to it. And um, tell me what you guys think so far of what I've got. Um, as I said, I've never really played the game. I've only just read about it maybe once in a blue moon. Every now and then I get a little intrigued and uh, I'll have a look at something. Um, all right, so let's see what we've got next. Construct. Token Artifact Creature. Okay, we've got some land cards again. Glorious Anthem. That's another foil piece on the bottom. So it seems like almost every deck has one of these um, foil ones. Kite Sail Fire Buto. There we go. Some of these I'm not even going to bother pronouncing. <laughs> Sky Scanner. Rise again. Creature Siren. Props to the artists who draw these up. I love this kind of um, card art. Ordered Battlements. This is Sparta! Swift response. <laughs> this is Sparta. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, I'm a little doggy. Get over it. All right, Hog Fiend and Finishing Blow. Cool. Let's just pack them a little bit. All right. Glorious Anthem. I like that card. I'm a fan of the um, the art, the angelic art in general. So whenever I see anything with wings, that's 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 my thing. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next deck. All right, so we got what do we got here? We got a pirate. Cool, we got a pirate token creature. Dismal backwater again. Oh, the gargoyle. That's actually got a little foil piece on the bottom there. Kite, kite sail dude again. Unsubstantiate. All right, gargoyle uprising. Oh, we got dinosaurs in that. That's pretty cool. Another thrill of possibility. Masked like a guard. Cool. Mind rot. Hey, got another alpine dog. Love it. Wish coin crab. But where's the coin? Celestial enforcer. Number 11. That's cool. All right. Orni Dilophosaur. Shock. Skeleton Archer. Sorry, guys. Don't mind my phone. And Setisan Training. Setisan Training. No idea. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Try to keep this um, moving a little faster. All right. Oh, we got a zombie. Cool. All right. We've got a Swamp. Idol of Endurance. That's another foil thing on the bottom there. Furious Rise. That's kind of cool. Sanctum of Calm Waters. Leak Finn Avenger. Mistral Singer, Caged Zombie, got another one of these Golems, Prismites, another Igneous Cur, another Rookie Mistake. <laughs> so we got a few of these. Oh, Infernal Scarring. That looks kind of cool. Lan Aloha Visionary, Burn Bright, Spartan! and another big Spartan Kick. <laughs> I've been playing um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so every time I see a kick like this, guys, I'm just going to say Spartan Kick. You, you, too bad. All right, love it, I hate it. Okay. All right, last of the 2021 deck. What do we got? Another token creature. We got a Tranquil Grove. Oh, we got another foil card, Enchantment. That's kind of cool. And we got a um, another little foil bottom thing. We got Heroic Intervention. He looks pretty awesome. Pop you over there. Arch Fiend Vessel. <laughs> Selfless Savior. I love that artwork. That's awesome. Twin Blade Assassin. Elf Assassin. We got a Vampire card here, Blood Glutton. Lovely. We got a creature, a boar. 
Oh, instance, OPT, not sure what that is. Defiant Strike, got another land card. Got a creature card, a human soldier, looks like a pirate of some kind. Another finishing blow. We got a dinosaur creature here. And Goblin Wizardry. Well, that brings us to the end of the video, everybody. So to summarize, we got a grand total of $56 that we've opened so far. Of that, we've got a good $86 profit from the Core 21, and our total spend comes to about $101 based off what we just opened. Of that, we have a total value of $136, which is pretty fantastic. If you want to see more of our gaming content, check out our Twitch channel at The Dragon's Tale. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Have a good one, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.